back to a brand new video. I'm filming from our hotel room in Las Vegas. Uh, yes, we are in Vegas again. And I do have a couple of Vegas vlogs that I've semi felt like I filmed, but I haven't really edited or posted just because of time. And then I started to get reluctant to post it because perhaps they're no longer relevant. So we did travel to the States uh, after restrictions were starting to be loosened after the pandemic and you know I was here when people were wearing masks I was here when the mask mandate was lifted um, so you know we do tend to come to Vegas because we do have conferences here and then also for fun uh, for like a weekend or so and Las Vegas is known for many things uh, known for casinos gambling partying um, known for shopping okay so there's a lot of luxury stores here a lot of stores in general basically Las Vegas is a resort town um, you know you have the strip and you have beautiful uh, hotel resorts here and yes they are built on top of massive casinos but then they're basically big shopping centers as well um, there are many five-star resorts as well. So, you know, everybody thinks that Las Vegas is about partying and drinking and gambling, and, and that's really not the case. There's something for everybody here. I see a lot of people, a lot of families with children, babies. Uh, I see a lot of older people as well. Um, there are con like conventions and conferences that happen um, all the time. And uh, right now, uh, there's a conference going on. I'm not attending it, but it's a fitness conference, so everybody here is super buff and lean. And here I am, I'll eat, sleep, and repeat. So I'm not here for a conference. It's really nice to be here when uh, you don't have to run around uh, to seminars and all, even though I do enjoy that, but then you do it, want to have to, you, you want to be able to relax and stuff. So uh, if you're like me and you don't drink and you don't gamble, there is a lot of stuff to do here. Besides shopping, there are a lot of beautiful spas um, that you can go to and you can get a spa day pass, you can get a massage. It is really a wonderful experience and, and just being in a beautiful uh, hotel uh, just makes it really really restful and, and nice and of course you have like the nightlife and a lot of people watching the people watching oh my god that is just epic okay so you know if you're if you want to just people watch it's great and I think definitely it's something for there's something for everyone to see here and uh, yeah so if you have never been uh, I would highly recommend uh, come in for three to four days max um, they have concerts here, they have shows here, so if there's a band or anything, a musician that you're wanting to see, then it is definitely worth uh, coming in. Uh, you can get great deals on hotels and flights, uh, so if you check and you book in advance, sometimes you can get like a five-star resort and flight, uh, you know, for under a thousand bucks, which Canadian, which is really nice. You wouldn't get that anywhere else. So I did get a chance to go uh, window shopping. Uh, there are three Hermes boutiques here. There's a number of Chanel boutiques here. Uh, and the selection is always uh, quite good. The last time, uh, last few times I was here, selection was very slim uh, for Chanel and Hermes. Um, Chanel had more last time I was here, but I remember coming here before and shelves were bare, so stock was low. But now that I visited, um, there, there is quite a bit of uh, stock. Uh, in one boutique, there wasn't as much. I believe the one at the Bellagio is moving. They are relocating and you know redesigning the boutique. So that is that was like slim pickings. But there's one at the Wynn, which is beautiful, that opened up. And then there's one at Crystal's, which is the biggest one, which is also beautiful. Uh, so yes, whenever we travel, I, I do get to do a little bit of shopping. So I have a little bit more shopping history in Las Vegas than I do in my home city. Uh, but the great thing about shopping in Las Vegas, well, prior to the pandemic, was all the stores used to be open till midnight. And that's no longer the case. Um, they are saying it's because they don't have enough people to fill those shifts. But I was speaking to some sales associates and they think that it is actually due to the casinos um, that lease out these spaces to luxury boutiques. And they found that when you know boutiques closed at 7, 8 o'clock, then people had nothing better to do than to gamble. So they want people to gamble, so that's probably why they don't have the stores open. Who knows, but I do miss when the stores used to be open until midnight because you can go on about your day, 
go have dinner and then you know if you wanted to go window shop you had something to do without further ado we will be doing an unboxing so i went in i didn't buy anything um and uh right away like the, my, the sales associate that i deal with had an idea of some of the things that i do like and they had mentioned that they just got a shipment in and uh they have a few pieces that i might be interested in and uh so i'll show you so it is a bag, it is not a quota bag, okay, it's not a Bergen or Kelly, so if that's what you're interested in, um, I hate to break it to you, but it's not a Bergen or Kelly. Uh, comes in this lovely box, and I'll try to uh, zoom in as I go. Um, but it's actually a style that I've been intrigued uh, by for a while now. Uh, this is the copy of the receipt, and this is the box, and so uh, the ribbon also has MS. 2022 written on it, which is really nice. Not focusing. Uh, Lighthearted 2022, okay? I don't know if the lighting here is the greatest. I didn't bring a light to film with, so I'm just filming in daylight, um, and hopefully it's not so bad, and I'm not getting weird, unflattering shadows on my face, so. Um, but yeah, so, it is packed in here, like so. And so it's not a quota bag, but you can maybe put guesses down below what you think it is. Here is a raincoat. Okay, so, so some of you who are seasoned um, fans of Hermes, maybe you know, you can maybe narrow it down. What is this? This is a care booklet. Yes, this is a care booklet. Okay. Hopefully you can see. It is a Lindy. Yes, Lindy, okay? Lindy 26. So I, I recognize there is a, a bigger size and then there's a mini size as well. But this is a Lindy 26 and I like the fact that there's a little pillow to support the handles. So let's unbox it together, well, unwrap it together. So here we have the handle, okay? And then we have a turn lock closure. Let's just undo the felt and everything. This is the first time of me seeing it as well. So let's take out the felt. And this is what we have here. So you have a flap closure with two zips on the side and then you have a turn lock. This is gold plated hardware. And then here you have FMS made in France. And when you close it like so, that stamp is hidden. This is a very interesting style. Uh, it gives me, it's kind of like a, a doctor bag shape. Some people call it a dumpling shape because when you take this stu the stuffing out and you let it sink, it creates this dumpling. I've always been intrigued by this shape. I know Amaya Lux has a Lindy. I think it's in a bigger size and I see her using it a lot um, out and about in the city. Um, and the Luxonomy also has a Lindy 26 and she got hers pre-loved for a really great deal. Um, I'm gonna go over pricing. So this was 7,800 US dollars plus tax. The tax rate, so I don't know what the Canadian price is, but the tax rate here is 8.375% in Las Vegas. Uh, I don't think it's cheaper than Canada. I think if anything, it might be more. The last two years, uh, luxury um, products like Chanel and Hermes have been slightly higher when we convert, um, you know, maybe by like $200 or $300. So, you know, you come into periods of time when it's a little bit cheaper or a little bit more. Um, but it's about getting the combination. So anyway, so this is black and this is in Clemence leather. So it's a grained leather walk around here grained leather okay and we've got gold hardware and then you have the zippers nice thing here is on the end of the zipper you have a little H there so similar to Chanel when you have the zippers and it has a little CC it's a nice detail um, so you've got two handles okay so you can hold it like this okay very easy and then it kind of switches the other way and you have this 
fixed handle. So you can't take this off, but it slides down so you can hold it like this. And it's a very comfortable strap drop, like so, okay? So I've always been intrigued by this because it's a very easy style. It can fit quite a lot. There are five feet at the bottom, and that's really great because I think I got like foundation mark already on there, but five feet at the bottom, um, because which is great instead of four because this is a very soft leather. I, even though there is a harder base here, but this prevents you know the weight of anything inside from causing like sagging and then having this part touching whatever you're putting it in. But it is a very easy bag and it has compartments, like it's got side pockets, okay, here so you can slip your phone in. Uh, let's try to demonstrate. Easy, okay. And inside, let's take this, all this air paper out. Inside as well, it's got slip pockets. So you've got one in here and one in here, okay? And then the flap I know, and I, I can see that the flap is going to be annoying to close, but I mean anything with like a turn lock, if you look at the Kelly, if you look at the Birkin, those are also annoying to close. Nobody actually really closes those. So I appreciate that this has a zip compartment and then you can kind of leave these hanging like so. Um, and you can just kind of get in and out if you want to and then for security like you can have the opening towards your body I like that this is understated and that it's not in your face uh, Logos, but it's just easy and you can wear anywhere It does kind of This um, This bit here I don't know it, it reminds me of like um we have a, I mean, Roots Canada is like a, a heritage brand for Canada and, and they have amazing leather goods, like amazing leather bags, very high quality um, stuff. It kind of reminds me of a Roots bag. <laughs> I don't know if I'm like correct, but I mean, it, it does, right? And, but it's such an interesting shape. So the, the choice I had was, you know, I went in and they were like, I didn't ask for a bag actually. I just was like, hey, you know, what's poppin', right? <laughs> I didn't ask for a bag and, uh, you know, just wanted to see what's new, okay? In case, uh, in case anything came in. But I was told, we just got a shipment in. Uh, I think you might be interested. We've got a Lindy uh, 26, black with gold hardware. Also a Picotin, which is black with palladium hardware. And Right away, I was like, you know what, show me the Lindy. I'm not interested in the Picotin. I know that the Picotin is a popular bag. Okay, I don't know what size it was. I think it was a, I think there's a mini, I don't know, but I didn't even ask the, any details. I didn't even ask to see it um, because it gives me grocery bag vibes. I mean, no offense, like I know some people love it. I think depending on the color and the size, okay, yeah, fine. But, uh, and I've seen some people hold, it is kind of cute, but I, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't feel, I don't know the price point, I should have probably asked how much it was um, just for information's sake, but it, there's just, it just seems like there's not much thought put into the bag versus this has a lot more thought put into the construction of the bag. Like there's some originality here and that's why I, I like it. There is something to it, very different in the, um, the style compared to anything else I've seen. So, um, and then gold hardware, okay, I love gold hardware and you know, it was something that I was like, okay, let's, and then also the sales associate was like, you know what, take the Lindy because it's hard to come by with gold hardware. Like you'll probably get palladium hardware, but gold hardware is very hard to come by and they strongly encouraged me to get the Lindy as opposed to the Picotin. And I, I trust uh, their opinion because I mean, they, they sell this stuff and, and you know, the sales associate is pretty honest and realistic, which I, is what I really appreciate. So that's why I, I I bond well with this person. It's not necessarily the brand. Sometimes the sales associate you deal with makes the shopping experience what it is and makes you love the brand even more. Yeah, so I'm really excited to be wearing this. Um, I think it's great as a travel bag because it is, it is very, um, you know, uh, understated. The leather is very comfortable of this strap, so it's like, 
you know, it's, it's, it's not super thick, but it's not super thin. And um, yeah, really good. So again, this is my dumpling bag. That's what we're gonna call it. A lot of people call it that. And uh, in, in, in terms of the leather, I know a lot of people say like MS leather is superior. Um, I guess it is. Uh, it is really good quality. I would say it's very soft. Um, I know this comes in different leathers like Swift, uh, which is a smooth leather. I love smooth leathers. This is a grain leather, but I, I, how can I describe the leather? The leather is lightweight and almost like spongy. Maybe this is a good quality of leather for it to be lightweight, but it just feels spongy to me. That's how, that's how I would put it. And um, it's more of a matte leather, but I, I really I really do love it. And, and especially in black with gold hardware, it's like a very classic combination. And you know, it's a great um, bag for, you know, running errands and just having something a little bit uh, discreet, right? So another discreet bag that I would like uh, would be, what is it called again? Oh, the name escapes me. Um, it's like the Alma, I'll put the name in, I forgot, but it just escaped my head. Uh, but that's also a great bag, I would say as well. Um, but uh, I like this. This is a very interesting shape, very unique uh, for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna gently put this away um, and package it away because I overpacked for this trip and I need to now play Tetris and see how I'm gonna bring this all back, okay? Luckily, I don't know, I think I should be able to. I think the box I can fold down. Uh, what is another item that I picked up? So after I got this, I went upstairs and I do um, I do love some ready to wear as well. And I was wearing uh, a dress that I recently showed you. Uh, it's a tunic and I wore shorts underneath and it was perfect for this sort of weather. And um, so I went upstairs and they were like, you know, we don't have like the, the, the creative, um, designer behind the ready to wear they've gone through many times like they've changed over and uh, so there hasn't really been much that was promising um, but there was one piece that they had I think from last year I didn't ask for it to be in a bag but they gave me a, a garment bag um, but this is a gilet uh, and very soft okay so this is a cashmere, this is 100% cashmere and it has a silver uh, zipper with some leather trim and then it has a belt as well and then some open pockets. So I'll model this for you. I actually, when I put it on, I really like the shape of it. Surprisingly, this is a size 34. I'll set you back a little bit here. Can you tell? The lighting is a little bit weird, I think. But probably not with the outfit that I'm wearing. Let me actually set you a little bit closer because I think you can't really see. Okay. So, um, probably not with what I'm wearing. So I, I actually really like this because sometimes you need a layer uh, but you don't want the arms to contend with when you're wearing a coat and then especially when I belted it it actually looked really good so um, you know just imagine with like pants and wearing a uh, bodysuit or something underneath like with like a tight knit um, long sleeve and I think it's really great like uh, easy to put on um, looks like a glamorized version of like the fleece that I've got from Old Navy in Walmart, but this is uh, a very nice uh, piece. It's kind of like a little coat. Um, yeah, this is uh, size 34, 100% cashmere. Um, it is from last year, so there's that. So while I was there, I did pick up a scarf. Now, I'm not really into a lot of um, square scarves. I feel like they're hard to drape and wear. Uh, but as like a bit of a, like I really like the print of this one. It's 
is what I'm trying to say. So this is a 90 by 90 scarf. Um, so I just love the coloring of this. I'll insert the name of the scarf below. But it's so pretty. Such a beautiful color, right? So very pretty. Uh, even if I wanted to wear this as like a top or like a neck scarf, beautiful for spring. And that's how that looks. So really pretty. I, I saw it and then I, um, I didn't really ask too much about it, but then I went in the next day and I'm like, I actually really like that. So, you know, sometimes it's just nice to have a, um, a, a scarf that uh, you, you'd want to wear, right? So I got this one and then I, I needed a bit of a shawl because it was, it's cold uh, inside the, you know, the casinos and stuff when you're walking through to get to your hotel room or just hanging out inside. The thing with the wind that I, I love the wind in Encore, it's just when you're here, you just never leave because everything's here. Like you have the best restaurants, you have like the spa, you have like stores. So there's no incentive to leave the resort versus like other places. Like, okay, like you might wanna, I don't know, but Anyway, I didn't ask for a box for this one because I just, well, one, they were out of boxes, two, I don't need a box. Um, I'm probably going to end up, there's only so much boxes I can take. But this is a beautiful rectangular scarf in a beautiful cream color, and I just wanted something to sort of drape. And uh, this is made out of, oh gosh, this is uh, cashmere, mostly cashmere and silk. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a bit of a design there. So, I think that's really nice. And I just love rectangular scarves because you can drape them really well. Um, they had uh, baby pink, they had gray, uh, like an orange, like the Hermes orange, but I just really loved it in the cream. Uh, something light like this would be amazing for Vegas. So Yeah, so that is my little Hermes haul and I will be packing this away But I do really like what I got uh, It is very different and it is something that was on, on the back of my mind that this is a bag that uh, an alternate quota bag that I would like to get I will see you in my next video and hopefully I will share some Vegas well let me know uh, if you guys want to see Vegas vlogs from like last year when you know you had to do all the COVID testing and the masks and all that like if it's still relevant if, if you, maybe maybe it would be interesting to see like the progression when it was like semi like like when it was open but sort of like shut down but um, you know, with some restrictions versus when they're wide open. Um, you know, if you want to see that and you're interested, uh, let me know and I will edit that footage and show you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.